What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Legacy, and today we're going to go over what I think are the top 15 counters for Shadow Mewtwo Raid and Pokemon Go. So Shadow Mewtwo Raid is coming out soon. Uh, unfortunately, you can't remote raid these, so you're going to have to do these in person. Now, this is going to be much harder than the normal Mewtwo because the enraged boost that happens in between the raid. Now, there's like a lot of speculation on how much the boost is, so yeah, you're going to need a big group for these. And if you have the gems, I recommend using the gems. So, yeah, let's go over the... The moves on um, Mewtwo is weak to bug, bug, ghost, and dark, but I didn't include any bug types. Bug types just aren't that good. Maybe if you have rainy weather, you can use bugs, but if you don't, this is based off neutral weather. And then, so the top two counters are ghost and dark. And like I said, it's fast move, it's cycle cut, confusion, and it has a bunch of charge moves. It has focus blast, flamethrower, thunderbolt, ice beam, and psychic. So I'm going to go over how each Pokemon is going to do against each move set. So we'll start with number 15 on my list, which is... Um, uh, Dark Ride, I have the, the full list right here, but what, so yeah, you can see here, these are the top 15 counters, and I'm going to go over, I, I rank them just based on a lot of stuff, like the move sets and how many feints, since Shadow Mewtwo is going to be tough, so that's why I kind of valued uh, feints here, because you don't want to faint too much, so we'll start with Dark Ride, you want Snarl, Dark Pulse, sometimes Shadow Ball is better, but I, I in this situation, I think Dark Pulse is better, yeah, so it's a pure Dark type, so how is he going to do against all the move sets? Against Psychic, it's going to double resist Psychic. So, yeah, Dark types do really well against Psychic. Uh, Ice Beam will be neutral damage. Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, all three of those will be neutral. You just got to watch out for Focus Blast. You're going to be single weak to Focus Blast. So, that's the only move set you got to be careful on with Dark Rye. And next up is, where is it? Number 14 on the list. I did 15 because there's a bunch, if you can see, you're going to see there's a bunch of Megas on the list. So, that's why I went with 15. Normally, I do top 10. But it's just, there's so many Megas. There's so many Dark Megas, so many Ghosts. So number 14, I'm with Shadow Weavile. Now, the issue with Shadow Weavile, I feel, is just too glassy. Even though it in some scenarios, it's really good. But here, the move sets kind of hurt Weavile a lot. So how is it going to do against all the move sets? So we'll start with Psychic. It's a Dark type. It's going to do really well against Psychic. Double Resist there. Plus, it being a Shadow makes it glassier, obviously. So that, that's one of the reasons why I, I just couldn't put... And it's just overall just a glassy Pokemon. But again, Psychic is going to be double, uh, it's going to double resist Psychic, so really good there. Uh, Thunderbolt will be neutral. Flamethrower, it will be weak to Flamethrower. That's kind of what hurt. And I think, does Ice, does Weavile resist Ice? I think it does resist Ice. I don't remember. Let me go double check before I give you guys the wrong information. What the heck? I'm pretty sure it resists. I'm pretty sure Ice resists Ice. There's some types that don't resist their, their own type, so it's kind of weird. I don't remember with ice types, but I'll double check. Yes, it does resist ice, so yeah, it's going to do well there. But the issue also is if you go against Focus Blast, Darkrai is single weak to Focus Blast, but Weavile is double weak, so it's going to just get wrecked. So you want to avoid, you don't want to use Weavile at all against Focus Blast, so that's why it's all the way at number 14. All right, now let's go to number 13. Same thing as Weavile, uh, we have Shadow Titar, it's a Dark Rock type, so it's going to be double weak to Focus Blast as well. Otherwise, these two would probably have been ranked higher if it was only a single weakness, but... The double weakness is just too much. Now, the benefit is going to double resist Psychic because it's a dark. And then Ice Beam will be neutral damage. Thunderbolt will be neutral damage. And it's going to resist Flamethrower. So that's why I kind of gave it the edge over... I guess the same thing, but I, I just feel Titar is a little better than, um, than Weavile in this scenario. But it's close. Th these these th bottom three were close. Okay, so that's 15, 14, 13. Number 12. I actually don't have this Pokemon at all. I will go over it real quick. It's Golden Go. Yeah, I don't have this Pokemon at all. I don't, so yeah, I don't even have the evolution. Now, you want uh, Hex Shadow Ball. Now, Golden Go is a Steel Ghost type, so how is that going to help it? Since it's a Steel, it's going to re single resist Psychic, single resist Ice Beam, so it really helps it there. Thunderbolt will be neutral. It's going to be weak to Flamethrower, though, because of the Steel typing. And it's also going to be single resistance to Focus Blast. You know, Ghost, double resist fighting, and then Steel is weak. So it makes it a single weak uh, resistance. So it's really good. It resists like three of the moves. Thunderbolt's neutral and Flamethrower has a single weakness. So yeah, pretty solid Pokemon. I don't have one, unfortunately, but if I did, it's pretty good. All the way at 12. Now we go to 11. Is it 11? Yeah, 11. Okay, sorry. Let's go to number 11. It's Hoopa Unbound. Where's my other Hoopa? Okay, so Hoopa Unbound with Astonish Shadow Ball. So it's a Psychic Dark type. How's that going to help it being a Psychic Dark type? So 
Normally, Focus Blast, Focus Blast is neutral damage thanks to the Psychic typing here. Flamethrower is neutral. Thunderbolt is neutral. Ice Beam is neutral. So every move is neutral here. But it's going to triple, no, yeah, triple resist Psychic. So this thing, if you're going up against a Psychic Mewtwo, is going to do really well. That's something I wish Niantic would do. It shows the move set before we jump in the lobby because, you know, depending on the moveset, we might swap our team. I don't know that's... I don't know why that's something they haven't incorporated into the game yet. It's kind of weird. I guess they don't want us to know the moveset going in, but it would make raiding a lot easier. Like, if we know we're going up against, like, a Blizzard Kyogre or something like that, or a Focus Blast Mewtwo, then we know, okay, don't use T-Tar. Niantic, I'm going to tweet it. I'm going to tweet that out. <laughs> I don't know why they, after all these years, we've been raiding for almost six years, six years now, and they still haven't brought that up. Because, like, for example, against a Psychic Mewtwo, Hoopa Unbound would do really well. All right, and I actually forgot to put this other Pokemon in there. Is the normal Hoopa, not the Unbound. I actually gave it the edge over the Unbound version. It's, it's a Psychic Ghost type, not a Psychic Dark type. Same moveset, Astonish Shadow Ball. So how is it going to do? It's going to single resist Psychic, uh, Ice Beam's neutral damage, Thunderbolt's neutral, Flamethrower's neutral. But the, the bonus here is that it's what? Triple resist Focus Blast. Yeah, triple resist Focus Blast. So you definitely want to use this against Focus Blast. I only have one poop at level 50, so I don't know. Maybe I should have used this one. Depends. Again, if we knew the moves, that would make things a lot easier. So that's what? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. That's 10. Yeah, this one's... No. Hoopa Unbound's 11, and normal Hoopa is 10. Now we'll get to number 9. Is Hydreigon. Now this one you need the Community Day move. Brutal Swing is really good. The Dragon Typing kind of helps it here. So let's look at the move sets of Mewtwo. So, it's going to be single weak to Focus Blast. That's going to hurt. But then it's going to res single resist Flamethrower and Thunderbolt. And double resist Psychic. So, it's pretty solid. Plus, Brutal Swing is just a really good move. But you're also going to be single weak to Ice Beam. But still, being able to do double resist Psychic, Flamethrower, and Thunderbolt. Plus, the amazing Brutal Swing. That's why it's all the way up here at number 9. Hydreigon. Number 8. This one was kind of surprising. But... It just has good a good type typing, which is Chandelure. It's a Ghost Fire type. So how th this one is so Focus Blast gonna since it's a Ghost type is gonna double resist Focus Blast. The Fire typing helps it resist Flamethrower. Thunderbolt is neutral damage, and then the Fire typing also helps it resist Ice Beam, and then it's uh, neutral against Psychic. So it has no weak. It's not weak against any of the moves. It's gonna resist. Two of the moves and then double resist focus blast. So that's why I put it all the way up here at number eight. So yeah, you want heck shadow ball on your chandelier. Now let's go over number seven and number six. Now th these two were close. These two were close. Uh, but I put no. I put Mewtwo at seven. Shadow Mewtwo. You want cycle cut shadow ball. Now how's Mewtwo gonna do against the Mewtwo shadow Mewtwo mirror match? I never thought I'd see that happening. But it's gonna resist psychic. And everything else is in Focus Blast. It's going to single resist Psychic and Focus Blast, but then Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam are all neutral. So it's not weak against anything. But just it being a Shadow and then the Enraged, I think Shadow's just a little too glassy going up against the Enraged boss because you don't want to faint too much against these. That's one thing that I really look, look at whenever I do these top 10, especially these Shadow Pokemon. Because, you know, anytime you faint in the raid, the, the uh, raid boss gains HP. So that's why I don't. That's why I don't want to put the shadows too high. But they just hit hard. If you have a big group, then yeah. Like if you have like a ten group, ten people group, then yeah, it's, shadows are great. But if you have like let's say the minimum like five people, it's different. Okay, so you want cycle cut, side strike, shadow ball, and yeah. So it's just solid all around. Number seven. Now let's go to number six. I gave it the slight edge was origin form Giratina. Now you do need shadow force, which is a, a legacy move. Now it's a ghost dragon type, and the dragon typing really helped it here against Flamethrower and Thunderbolt is going to resist both of those. Psychic will be neutral and is going to double resist Focus Blast. The only thing you have to watch out with Giratina is the Ice Beam, but I still gave it the slight edge over Mewtwo just because against, like I said, double resisting Focus Blast is going to be amazing. Resisting Flamethrower and Thunderbolt is going to be good. Psychic neutral, then just watch out for Ice Beam. Still very solid. That's why it's all the way up here at number six. Now we get to the top five. And spoiler, they're all Megas. Megas, you you got to bring in these Megas against uh, against Shadow Mewtwo. It's just going to help out tremendously, uh, beat, beat it quicker, especially when they get enraged if you don't have the gems. But I recommend using gems. So we'll start with number five is Mega Absol. 
Absol is a pure dark type, so how is he going to do against all the move sets? Uh, we'll go over the, the basically, yeah, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, those three will be neutral. It's going to be single weak to Focus Blast, so watch out for Snow Blast, but double resist Psychic. So, yeah, overall good, just watch out for Focus Blast. With Mega Absol, you want Snarl, Dark Pulse. And number four is Mega Gyarados. Bite Crunch on your Mega Gyarados. Now, it loses its flying type when it Mega Evolves, so it turns into Water Dark. So does the Water Typing help it here? Well, let's look. It's a Water Dark, so it's going to be weak to Focus Blast. It's going to resist Flamethrower and Ice Beam. But then it's a single weak to Thunderbolt and double resist Psychic. So it's kind of weird. So it's really good against Psychic. Single resist Ice Beam, single resist Flamethrower, but then weak to Focus Blast and Thunderbolt. At least it's not double weak to Thunderbolt, that's the good news. So it's just overall solid. It's just a little better Pokemon than Absol, but it's close. It was really close between Absol and Gyarados. Now we get to the number three on the list, which was Houndoom, Mega Houndoom. Snarl Foul Play on your Houndoom. Now, let's see. Houndoom's pretty good. It's going to double resist Psychic. Thunderbolt will be neutral damage. It's going to resist Ice Beam and Flamethrower thanks to the Fire Type. And kind of like a kind of like Chandelure scenario. But you're weak to Focus Blast. That's the only thing. you got to watch out for Focus Blast. But oh, other than that, Mega Houndoom's solid. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to use Mega Houndoom against it. Now we'll go to number two is Mega Gengar. Mega Gengar hits really I, I This was tough. I kind of was debating between Gengar and Houndoom. Because Gengar, if you're going up against... Gengar is weak to... Confusion is going to hurt Gengar a lot. That's why I kind of didn't want to put it. But if you go up against Psycho Cut and you're going up against like uh, the other move sets, like if you're going up against Focus Blast, it's going to triple resist Focus Blast. So yeah, Mega Gengar against Focus Blast is great. And then uh, Flamethrower is neutral, Thunderbolt is neutral, Ice Beam is neutral. But if you go up against Psychic, Gengar is done. You're going to get destroyed by Psychic. So avoid Psychic. That Mega Gengar just hits so hard. I made a video a year ago, the top 10 Pokemon for raids, and Mega Gengar was number one. I'll probably put a, a card for that video if you guys want to go watch it. But it's been a year, so things have changed since then. So maybe I need to make an updated video eventually. So yeah, the poison type, it hurts to hear. That's why it's number two. Now, you, I, I, it was close between Houndoom and Gengar. I don't know. Maybe Houndoom's better. It was close. But just Gengar just hits harder. But I think against Shadow Mewtwo, you'd rather have the Houndoom in there. Maybe I should have put this one num number three instead. Because you want your Mega to be in there as long as possible. And that's why I gave Bennett the edge over Gengar. And Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball for this one. It's a pure ghost. So basically, yeah. It's going to double resist Focus Blast. Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Psychic is all neutral. But it just hits harder than Houndoom. So yeah, you don't have to worry about it. You're going to be neutral against everything. And then if you go up against Focus Blast, Bennett's really good there. So, yeah, it's just overall solid. You want to boost your Pokemon. But, like, the thing you have to look at is, like, what are people more likely to bring into the raid? Probably, besides Megas, I mean, you don't know. I, I'm guessing a lot of people... What's the most common Pokemon? Giratina Origin is what people probably will bring in. Shadow Mewtwo, Chandelures. Like, it all depends on what your teammates use. But anyway, we're done with the top 15. Why didn't I show my Bennett? Didn't I not Mega Evolve it? Oh, let me Mega Evolve it. Yeah, I hope this helps you guys raiding Shadow Mewtwo. So I'm looking forward to raiding Shadow Mewtwo, but it's going to be tough. Like, you know, get your gems ready, get a big group. Because I remember when Mewtwo was an EX raid, people were failing that thing. I don't know. Niantic, I think, needs to make these mega, these uh, Shadow Raids easier because I don't know how. Maybe they got to make the gems better. We'll see, but... I'm, I'm a little worried because I don't have any many players in my neighborhood. So we'll see if people actually show up for these Shadow Mewtwo's. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.